In any average high school, there are many students that participate in school sports. One of these sports is basketball. Using physics, we can determine how to get the perfect free throw every time. In physics, there are three basic equations we can use to help us gather all parts of our situation. Those equations are velocity final equals velocity initial plus acceleration times time, distance equals velocity initial times time plus one half acceleration times time squared, and velocity final squared equals velocity initial squared plus two times acceleration times distance. In basketball, players take shots known as foul shots. These are shots that are thrown from the foul line. In the NBA, the foul line is 5.8 meters away from the basket, and the basket is 3.05 meters from the ground. Dwight Howard, an NBA player who made 90% of his foul shots on his high school basketball team, is 2.11 meters in height. Let's use him as our example. Here is Dwight standing at the foul line. We know his height, which is 2.11 meters. We know the foul line is 5.80 meters away from the basket. And we know the basket is 3.05 meters from the ground. In order for us to determine the perfect shot for Dwight Howard, we must find the initial velocity in the y direction of the ball. Let's use the last equation first. Now, we can plug in what we know to find out what we don't know. After solving, we can get to the conclusion that velocity initial equals 4.29 meters per second. Let's move that out of the way. Now that we know the initial velocity in the y direction, we can find the time it takes for the ball to reach the top of its trajectory using the first equation. Once again, we can plug in the values we know to find what we're looking for. After solving, we know that time equals 0.44 seconds. Now, we can move that out of the way. Next, we can use the second equation to find the horizontal velocity of the ball. Let's plug in our values. After solving, we come to the conclusion that the horizontal velocity is equal to 13.18 meters per second. We can move that out of the way. Now, we can find the initial velocity at which Dwight throws the ball in the diagonal direction. We can use the Pythagorean theorem to find this value. Now we can plug in our values. After solving, we come to the conclusion that the velocity in the diagonal direction was 13.86 meters per second. Now we can get that out of the way. Finally, using all the data we have calculated, we can find the angle at which Dwight must throw the ball. We can use the formula velocity initial in the x direction equals velocity initial in the diagonal direction times the cosine of theta. For the last time, we can plug in our values that we know to find theta. After solving, we find that the value of theta is equal to 18.02 degrees. Now we can move that out of the way and see what it looks like all together. Now we know that in order for Dwight Howard to shoot the perfect three throw every time, he must throw the ball with a velocity of 13.86 meters per second at 18.02 degrees. This has been a Zach Transport production.